Every year, Thanksgiving night, we flocked out behind Dad as he dragged the Santa suit to the road and draped it over a kind of crucifix he built out of a metal pole in the yard. Super Bowl week, the pole was dressed in a jersey and Rod's helmet and Rod had to clear it with Dad if he wanted to take the helmet off. On the 4th of July, the pole was Uncle Sam. On Veterans Day, a soldier. On Halloween, a ghost. The pole was Dad's only concession to glee. We were allowed only a single Crayola from the box at a time. One Christmas Eve, he shrieked at Kimmy for wasting an apple slice. He hovered over us as we poured ketchup, saying, Good enough, good enough, good enough. Birthday parties consisted of cupcakes, no ice cream. The first time I brought a date over, she said, What's with your dad and that pole? And I sat there, blinking. We left home, married, had children of our own, found the seeds of meanness blooming also within us. Dad began dressing the pole with more complexity and less discernible logic. He draped some kind of fair over it on Groundhog Day and lugged out a floodlight to ensure a shadow. When an earthquake struck Chile, he lay the pole on side and spray-painted a rift in the earth. Mum died, and he dressed the pearl as death, and hung from the crossbar photos of Mum as a baby. We'd stop by and find our talismans from his youth, arranged around the base. Army medals, theatre tickets, old sweatshirts, tubes of Mum's makeup. One autumn, he painted the pearl bright yellow, he covered it with cotton swaps that winter for warmth and provided offspring by hammering in six cross sticks around the yard. He ran lengths of string between the pole and the sticks and taped to the string letters of apology, admissions of error, pleas for understanding, all written in a frantic hand on index cards. He painted a sign saying love and hung it from the pole and another that said Forgive? And then he died in the hall with the radio on and we sold the house to a young couple who yanked out the pole and the sticks and left them by the road on garbage day. <laughs>